Hey guys, welcome to the Chin Family, and today I'm going to do a Chinchilla Cage Tour video. So I have two cages, Leia and her babies, in Yoda's cage, which February 10th, Chewie will be going into Yoda's cage, so there'll be two Chinchillas in each cage. Okay, so with this video I'm going to show you each cage, and I'm also going to be showing you all of my supplies I have. So if you want to see what I have, just keep watching. Also, a quick disclaimer is I do have plastic in my cages as you can see, but my chinchillas, they do not chew on the plastic. I just want to let you guys know that. And in the future, my mom and I are going to buy some a lot of wood ledges to put here for they can get up to the top level. But at the moment, we're not worried about it because our chinchillas do not chew on the plastic since they have a lot of toys to occupy them. We're going to start with Yoda's cage. So each chinchilla do, does have a feisty fire at home cage. I do highly recommend to get the Critter Nations. They do sell those on Amazon. This was sold on Amazon for $150. But I do recommend, so I'm sorry that there is some poops. I did clean his cage yesterday and I tried to do a spot clean this morning, but he was not really going for it. <laughs> but so we have some camo fleece and we also have these ledges. So he has this bird perch ledge right here and he's in this another bird perch ledge that I just got him I want to say two days ago but he loves them. He's going to show them off. And then oh my gosh what did I just cleaned this. And then up here he has a kebab chew and then he has just this chew toy right here. And then also right underneath he has this natural dome hide. He absolutely loved them. He loves tipping them over like this and just sitting in it and just chewing right there as you can see. And over here I also have another chew toy for him. And then we have another hide. This has a tile on it to keep him cool if he ever wants to sleep inside his hide. So that's all what's on the top level. Down here we have tile like I, like I mentioned earlier. And there he is. I'm really nervous he's going to jump out. But then back there, he has two stuffed animals he loves to sleep with. He loves them so much. And he has a pine cone shoe. He also has his tunnel, which he loves his tunnel. And then up on this shelf right here, he has four chew toys. <laughs> They're all upstairs, but he knocks them down. So he has some grape chews, two wicker balls, and then this banana loofah. And then I always put a piece of fleece on the bottom. To I don't know if you want to sleep down here or something. And then he has his food and his hay. And then he has two ledges. He has this wood ledge right here. Can you show it to us? Thank you, Yoda. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Let's see the top level of Leia's cage like we did with Yoda's. Now, mind you, there are three chinchillas in this cage, so there is going to be triple poop in here. Yes, I did clean it yesterday, and I did spot clean it this morning, but they do poop a lot. So in this one, we have a hammock. Both cages did come with this hammock, but Yoda's was did not really like his hammock and just took up too much space. But the babies love it, so I leave this hammock in here. Then underneath the hammock, I have this bend a bridge, which I keep right underneath the hammock where they can jump up into it. And they have this um, Halloween fleece, which is Minnie Mouse dressed in a cat costume. I thought that was so cute. And then up there, they have this rainbow pop, pop school stick chew toy, which as you can tell, they really love it. And then I do leave a ladder up right here for this cage. USK did not leave his up, but for the babies where they can get up there. But as you can see, they do have the same um, house and they do like sleeping, it, sleeping, sleeping in it like that as well. Let's go to the bottom level. Alright, so if you're wondering what this is, these cages, my cage I got for Leia, one of the bars was slightly broken, but Leia, she actually did break it all the way, so there is a gap, which is like, it's this huge, it's this big, just without this bar, so she can fit through it, and the babies can fit through it, so we did buy an iron solder to fix it, and the iron solder was very cheap and did not work, so I just took all this fleece, bundled it up, and they could not get out. It's been like this for about a week, but yeah, that's why I really suggest a Critter Nation. Let's go to the bottom level. So they are all eating right now, so hopefully they won't jump out. Leia, you just played for like 45 minutes. I let you guys, I let you out later tonight. Um, here's some tile, as obvious. They have food, hay, a fleece back there. Hi, Leia. And then on the top level, oh, you want to show us? Yeah, you have a candy corn um, 
plush toy. They also have the like, same kebab as Yoda. Then they have this hide, which they all love. Leia loves it. There is a wicker ball back there, a chew toy back there, and there's a loofah, and then there's stuffed animals everywhere. They love stuffed animals. So yeah, that's uh, Leia's cage. She wants to come out even though she was just out for 45 minutes, Leia. You know I always let you out when I get home from school and at night. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you my, my chinchilla supplies. So it says on top of the cages, if you're wondering, I'm on, I'm on my chair because I cannot get up here. But yeah, so I just lay down a blanket on top of here to keep them feel a little bit more safe. Here on the other side, I put down a blanket all the way, and it's black so you cannot see, because my window is right there, and I don't want any light beaming into his face. Okay, so up here I have a 10-gallon tank, which I just keep their dust in. I use the You and Me chinchilla dust, so yeah, that's what's there. And then this is their water. I do give them distilled water, which I just buy from the supermarket, because... It's a lot better than tap water. So yeah, I have that. This one, and I have, this one's pretty much out, and then I have this full one right here. And then right here is where I keep all of their extra toys. I'm so lazy. Here's all the tags to their toys. But I just keep it in this box I have. So I guess I'll show you all the toys. So they have an Oxbow Timothy twist. And this one is a little bag I'm just reusing. These are all used chew toys, which I could throw out, but they're still very usable, so I just keep them. So if I run out of chew toys, I can just give this to them. Okay, so right here we have this Barrels chew toy. Another one of these chew toys, since Leia loves them. These, these are from my hamsters and my mice. I don't give these to the chinchillas. I have this bridge. I have another bender bridge. These little pencil chew toys. A lot of these sticks. So yeah, that's this is all their extra chew toys. Okay, so right here is where I keep the treats. I have to be, little, have to be very low-key about this because they will go insane. So they like these. They're called rice pops. So we break off a little piece of it and give it to them. We also have the little versions. Then we have some almonds, and then this is my favorite treat to feed them. It's the best for them, which is the Oxbow Simple Reward Timothy Treats. The vet really recommends these, so I suggest you to get them. They're only $5 a pack, which is pretty good for Oxbow. So yeah, we have a lot of them, actually. Oop, I'm about to fall. We have a still whole bag filled. Okay, then right here I have the recarrier, so if an emergency ever happens, I can obviously put them in the carriers. This is a pet smart carrier, and these are just two small cat carriers, but our cats are pretty large, so they don't fit in them anymore. But yeah, those are our two carriers. Okay, so now under here I have this box, which I keep more stuff in. So I just keep some extra fleece in here. Okay, so I have two cleaners in here. I have this pet smart cleaner, and then I... Have method now I highly recommend to get this method all-purpose cleaner okay so next I have some towels and I have a dustpan extra weed for my hamsters and my mice just there these these um, little toys but I do use the cleaners in here and the fleece for the chinchillas. And then right here, this is a travel cage for Leia and her babies when we had to go to the vet. But there is just some fleece on top of there too. Lastly over here, I just keep the food. So this is all my hamsters and mice food. And then right here is the chinchillas food. This, I feed them Oxbow Essential Chinchilla food. Oh, and I almost forgot, I do feed them Oxbow Timothy Hay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that chinchilla cage tour video. If you guys want me to upload anything you want, please, please, please feel free to leave it down in the script, down in the comment box down below. Yoda loves, <laughs> he looked like he smiled. Yoda loves the camera. He loves the camera. And make sure you add him on Instagram because he is so photogenic. And I'm always posting pictures of the babies and the mom. Well, the mom's right there. But yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Bye.